sleeping giant is becoming active after 800 years of silence in Alaska's remote wilderness. Beneath the serene and mist-covered wilderness of southeast Alaska, something ancient stirs. This peaceful land, home to rich forests and quiet coastlines, is not as tranquil as it appears. Mount Edgecombe, a towering sentinel that has been sleeping for over 800 years, might be ready to wake up. The earth beneath it rumbles with whispers of a story older than humanity itself, a story of fire, pressure, and the raw power of nature. In this video, we'll take you deep into the heart of Mount Edgecombe's brewing fury. We'll explore what makes this volcano so dangerous, what signs are telling us it might erupt, and what could happen if it does. We'll compare this potential eruption to other notable volcanic events in the USA and try to understand the immense forces at play. So buckle up and join us as we uncover the mystery of the awakening giant that is Mount Edgecombe. The Sleeping Giant's Awakening. Mount Edgecombe, standing proudly at 3,200 feet, might look like a mere mountain, but it is a stratovolcano, a colossal structure formed by layers of hardened lava and ash. For centuries, it has rested quietly in the Tongass National Forest, a dormant icon with no signs of life. But in 2022, something changed. Satellite data began to show subtle movements beneath the mountain. These movements were not random. They hinted at magma rising from the depths, pushing against the surface. Volcanoes like Mount Edgecombe don't just wake up overnight. Imagine a kettle on a stove, slowly heating until steam escapes. The Earth's crust is like that kettle lit, and the pressure beneath is steam building up. As magma pushes upwards, the pressure grows until eventually it must find a way out. Mount Edgecombe's stirring is a classic sign of such pressure. The last time Mount Edgecombe erupted was over 800 years ago, around the 12th century. Back then, it spewed ash and lava that covered large areas of the region. The people who lived nearby must have witnessed a terrifying spectacle. Now, the giant stirs again, and scientists are carefully watching the clock. Signs of impending eruption. How do we know Mount Edgecombe is getting ready to erupt? Volcanoes give off signals, subtle hints that trouble might be brewing beneath the surface. One of the first signs was ground deformation. Between 2018 and 2022, satellite data showed the ground near Mount Edgecombe rising by nearly 10 inches. This kind of uplift happens when magma accumulates, pushing the earth upwards. Another key sign? is seismic activity. When magma forces its way through rock, it causes tiny earthquakes. These quakes are like a drumbeat, increasing in frequency and intensity as magma rises. In 2022, hundreds of small tremors were detected under Mount Edgecombe. These tremors are the volcano's way of saying something is happening. Imagine standing on the ground and feeling a low, constant rumble beneath your feet. This isn't just a random occurrence. It's a harbinger of potential volcanic activity. Mount Edgecombe signals are getting louder, and these signs of awakening cannot be ignored. What happens when a stratovolcano erupts? Stratovolcanoes are among the most dangerous types of volcanoes. Unlike shield volcanoes, which ooze lava gently, stratovolcanoes explode violently. They are built up over millennia by alternating layers of lava and ash, creating steep, conical shapes. When they erupt, they don't just release lava, they unleash pyroclastic flows, a deadly mix of hot gas, ash, and rocks that can travel at hundreds of miles per hour. If Mount Edgecombe erupts, we could see a catastrophic event. Pyroclastic flows could sweep through the forests, destroying everything in their path. Ash clouds could rise into the sky, choking the air, and covering nearby communities. Think of Mount St. Helens in 1980, where a massive explosion flattened forests and sent ash drifting across states. The potential for such an eruption makes Mount Edgecombe's awakening a cause for serious concern. The landscape could be transformed in an instant, and the impacts could be felt far beyond Alaska. Echoes of Mount St. Helens. To understand Mount Edgecombe's potential, Let's look back at one of the most infamous eruptions in U.S. history, Mount St. Helens in Washington State. On May 18, 1980, a massive eruption occurred 
After weeks of increasing seismic activity, the explosion was so powerful that the entire top of the mountain was blown off. Mount Edgecombe shares many similarities with Mount St. Helens. Both are stratovolcanoes. Both showed ground deformation and seismic activity before eruption, and both are capable of unleashing violent explosions. If Mount Edgecombe follows the same pattern, the results could be equally devastating. But there's a key difference. Mount St. Helens erupted in a relatively sparsely populated area, but Southeast Alaska is home to indigenous communities, towns, and important fishing industries. An eruption could have severe social and economic consequences. Could it rival Yellowstone's supervolcano? When people hear about volcanic activity, their minds often drift to the Yellowstone supervolcano. Yellowstone's eruptions occurring every 600,000 to 800,000 years are among the most cataclysmic events in Earth's history. But while Mount Edgecombe isn't a supervolcano, it poses a different kind of threat. Yellowstone's eruptions could devastate half the continent, but Mount Edgecombe's potential impact is more localized. However, that doesn't make it less dangerous. The dense forests, wildlife, and communities around Mount Edgecombe are all at risk. In the context of Alaska, the damage could be immense. Think of it this way. Yellowstone is a sleeping dragon. Mount Edgecombe is a loaded gun. Both are dangerous, but in different ways. The risk of Mount Edgecombe erupting in our lifetime is far higher than Yellowstone, making it a more immediate concern. The role of magma chambers. Deep beneath Mount Edgecombe lies a magma chamber, a reservoir of molten rock waiting to escape. Magma chambers are like underground lakes filled with liquid fire. Over time, pressure builds as more magma enters the chamber. When the pressure becomes too great, the chamber cracks and magma shoots upwards, causing an eruption. In Mount Edgecombe's case, Recent data suggests the magma chamber is filling up. Imagine blowing up a balloon. The more air you add, the more pressure builds until the balloon bursts. That's what's happening beneath Mount Edgecombe. The cracks in the Earth's crust are like weak spots in the balloon, ready to give way at any moment. A tale of survival, the Alaskan communities. The people who live near Mount Edgecombe have coexisted with the volcano for generations. The Tlingit people, indigenous to Southeast Alaska, have long known the mountain's power. In their folklore, Mount Edgecombe is more than just a volcano. It's a living entity. For the towns of Sitka and nearby communities, the threat is real. An eruption could disrupt lives, destroy homes, and force evacuation. Yet these communities are resilient. They have faced earthquakes, harsh winters, and wild seas. The potential eruption of Mount Edgecombe is another challenge they are ready to confront. Lessons from Hawaii's Kilauea. In 2018, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted, destroying hundreds of homes and reshaping the landscape. Unlike Mount Edgecombe, Kilauea is a shield volcano known for its slow, flowing lava. But the devastation caused by Kilauea offers a lesson for Alaska. Preparedness is key. Evacuation plan, early warning systems, and community readiness can mean the difference between life and death. If Mount Edgecombe erupts, the lessons learned from Kilauea could help save lives. How Mount Edgecombe shaped the land. Mount Edgecombe's past eruptions have left their mark on the land. The forests surrounding the volcano are rich in volcanic soil, which supports lush plant life. The ash from ancient eruptions created fertile ground, allowing trees, ferns, and wildlife to thrive. Yet, this beautiful landscape is a reminder of the volcano's power. Every tree and every stream owe their existence to the fire and fury of Mount Edgecombe's volcanic activity. The layers of hardened lava and ash have sculpted the terrain, forming hills, valleys, and cliffs that stand as silent witnesses to the volcano's turbulent history. Rivers and stream, fed by the melting snowcaps of the mountain, carve their paths through this rugged landscape, enriching the soil as they flow. The ecosystems surrounding Mount Edgecombe have adapted over centuries to these periodic bursts of destruction and renewal. Many plant species flourish in the mineral-rich soil, while wildlife depends on the abundance of vegetation for food and shelter. From towering evergreens to delicate mosses, each species plays a role in maintaining the delicate balance of this environment. However, the same forces that give life to this region also pose a threat. Mount Edgecombe's history reminds us that the calm, 
serene beauty of today can give way to violent eruptions tomorrow. Scientists continue to monitor the volcano closely, watching for signs of activity that could once again reshape the land. In the end, Mount Edgecombe's legacy is one of both destruction and creation, a testament to nature's ability to rebuild and flourish after even the most fiery upheaval. The fragile balance between beauty and danger. The lush ecosystems surrounding Mount Edgecombe are a product of ancient destruction, a balance of life and volatility. The land is picturesque, towering evergreen, crystal clear streams, and wildlife thriving in the nutrient-rich soil. However, beneath this scenic beauty lies a reminder that everything could change in a moment. These environments exist only because of volcanic activity, a cycle of destruction and rebirth. Picture a forest filled with chirping birds, deer grazing by a quiet stream, and salmon swimming through cold, fresh waters. Now, imagine the sky darkening as ash clouds loom overhead, the air thick with volcanic dust and rivers filling with debris. The same force that created this paradise can easily take it away. This delicate balance is part of life in Southeast Alaska, a constant dance between nature's serene facade and its raw, untamed power. Mount Edgecombe's story is one of contrasts. Tranquility meets turmoil. Growth meets obliteration. This balance keeps the region on edge, always aware that paradise could be fleeting. The ancient eruptions of Mount Edgecombe deposited layers of ash and lava that altered the local landscape, reshaping valleys and forming new hills. These deposits eventually broke down into fine particles, enriching the soil with essential minerals like potassium, phosphorus, and calcium. This fertile ground now supports dense forests of Sitka spruce, western hemlock, and red cedar, trees that dominate the southeast Alaskan landscape. These forests, in turn, create habitats for black bears, bald eagles, and countless smaller creatures that thrive in this delicate ecosystem. The volcanic soil doesn't just nourish the trees, it also sustains an intricate network of fungi and microorganisms beneath the forest floor. These unseen life forms help recycle nutrients break down organic matter, and allow plants to communicate through vast underground networks. The lush greenery, vibrant ferns, and thick moss carpeting the forest owe their existence to this hidden web of life, nurtured by the remnants of volcanic activity. Volcanic eruptions have also influenced the waterways of the region. Lava flows and ash deposits altered the courses of streams and rivers, creating new channels, pools, and wetlands. These water bodies support salmon runs, a crucial part of the ecosystem and a key food source for both wildlife and local communities. The clear, cold water filtered through layers of volcanic rock provides an ideal habitat for these fish, whose life cycles enrich the entire region. However, the potential for future eruptions looms in the background. Mount Edgecombe may be dormant now, but geological evidence shows that it has erupted multiple times over the past 13,000 years. Monitoring efforts have intensified in recent decades, with scientists using satellite imagery, seismic sensors, and gas measurements to track any changes beneath the surface. Even small signals of volcanic activity are taken seriously, as history has shown that the serene forests and flowing rivers can be rapidly transformed by the mountain's fiery potential. Communities near Mount Edgecombe live with this ever-present uncertainty. Indigenous groups who have long inhabited this region carry stories of past eruptions and the ways in which the land was reshaped. These tales serve as a cultural memory, a way of passing down knowledge about the dangers and blessings of living in such a volatile environment. The land's beauty and fertility are gifts from the volcano, but they come with the understanding that everything is temporary, part of an ongoing cycle of creation and destruction. Mount Edgecombe's legacy is a powerful reminder of nature's dual capacity to nurture and to devastate. This cycle ensures that even in destruction, life finds a way to return, stronger and more vibrant than before. The balance between fragility and resilience defines this landscape, making it a living testament to the transformative power of the Earth itself. Why this eruption matters to the entire U.S. Mount Edgecombe may seem remote, tucked away in Alaska's wilderness, but its potential eruption has broader implications for the entire United States. The immediate impacts would devastate local communities 
and wildlife, but the fallout wouldn't stop there. Ash clouds from large eruptions can travel thousands of miles, affecting air travel, agriculture, and even public health. Think of the 2010 Ejafjallajökull eruption in Iceland. Although the volcano was thousands of miles away from major population centers, its ash cloud grounded flights across Europe for weeks, costing billions in economic losses. A Mount Edgecombe eruption could create similar chaos disrupting flights across the Pacific and affecting trade routes. Additionally, ash can affect the air quality of distant cities. Fine particles can infiltrate respiratory systems, causing health concern, especially for those with asthma or other conditions. The eruption of Mount Edgecombe is not just Alaska's problem. It's one that could send ripples across the nation. Comparisons to the 1912 Nova Rupta eruption, one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in the U.S., occurred in Alaska in 1912 at the Nova Rupta volcano. This eruption was so massive that it formed the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a landscape filled with steaming fissures and hardened ash flow. The Nova Rupta event released 30 times more material than Mount St. Helens, blanketing the region in ash and causing global climate effects. If Mount Edgecombe were to erupt with similar force, the consequences could be devastating. Though Nova Rupta was in a remote area, Mount Edgecombe's proximity to populated regions makes its threat more immediate. The ashfall, pyroclastic flows, and potential tsunamis could cause far greater human and economic losses. Nova Rupta serves as a chilling reminder of what Alaskan volcanoes are capable of. The scale of destruction possible from Mount Edgecombe is not theoretical. History has shown us what can happen when giants awaken. The tsunami threat, a hidden danger. While the eruption itself poses immense danger, there's another hidden threat, tsunamis. Mount Edgecombe's location near the coast increases the risk of volcanic material collapsing into the ocean. When large amounts of rock, ash, and magma enter the water suddenly, they can displace huge volumes, triggering tsunamis that can devastate coastal communities. This isn't just speculation. In 1958, an earthquake in Latuya Bay, Alaska, caused a landslide that triggered a mega tsunami with waves reaching heights of 1,720 feet, the tallest ever recorded. If Mount Edgecombe erupts and part of its structure collapses into the sea, similar waves could be generated, impacting coastal towns, fishing fleets, and even areas far beyond Alaska's borders. The potential for a double disaster, an eruption followed by a tsunami, makes Mount Edgecombe's awakening a multifaceted threat. Preparedness for such scenarios is essential for protecting lives and property. The importance of early warning systems. Given the risks associated with Mount Edgecombe, early warning systems are vital. Modern technology, including seismic monitoring, satellite imagery, and ground deformation sensors, helps us predict volcanic activity more accurately than ever before. These tools provide crucial data that can alert authorities and communities before an eruption occurs. For example, in 2022, ground deformation data provided the first clues that Mount Edgecombe was stirring. This early detection has given local authorities time to prepare evacuation plans and inform residents of potential risks. However, these systems are only effective if they are maintained and trusted by the public. Investing in robust early warning systems can make the difference between orderly evacuations and catastrophic loss of life. The lessons learned from past eruptions, such as Mount St. Helens, Kilauea, and Nova Rupta, highlight the need for vigilance and preparedness. Mount Edgecombe's awakening is a reminder of nature's unpredictable power. While we can't prevent volcanic eruptions, we can prepare for them. Governments, scientists, and local communities must work together to ensure that emergency plans are in place. Warning systems are functional and the public is informed. If you live in a volcanic region, take time to learn about evacuation routes, emergency supplies, and how to stay informed during a crisis. Preparedness saves lives and knowledge is the first step towards safety. What do you think about Mount Edgecombe's awakening? Are we prepared for its potential eruption? Or are we underestimating this sleeping giant? Leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know if there are other volcanic stories you'd like us to explore. Don't forget to like 
share, and subscribe to stay updated on more incredible discoveries and natural wonders from around the world. Hit the bell icon so you won't miss our next adventure.